beautiful question. I love this question. Because most people spend their time dreaming and preparing themselves emotionally for success, but not for failure. One of the great skills of life, and I highly, highly recommend you teach yourself this. And if you have a family or people around you whom you care about, teach them this. Is the art of failure. I'll give you an example. Flying, being a captain, a successful captain in an airline, is not just about taking off. It's not just about, you know, cruising when everything is perfect. The plane is in a perfect situation, the weather is perfect, everything is by the book. It's not about perfect landing. That's relatively easy. Being a successful pilot, that's amusing as a metaphor to running a business or you know your career or profession. I'm using the analogy with the, the airplane and the pilot because you could see, I mean, you're in the same position when, almost the same position when you're running a business or when you are you know, managing your career or your profession or a project. So flying, successful flying, being a successful pilot doesn't just mean taking off with an airplane. It doesn't mean cruising smoothly when everything is perfect, the engines are running smoothly, every the plane is new, everything is perfect, weather conditions are ideal, or landing also smoothly. That's a very important part of it, but it's, the reality is not like that. Successful pilots are the pilots that are trained and prepared for the worst case scenarios, for the problems, for turbulences, for failures of engines, for the countless other surprises that happen, including, including the crash landing scenarios. Because life is unpredictable. Life is dotted with surprises. Life is dotted with expected and ex unexpected difficulties and these difficulties comes with different kind of intensities some of them could be managed easily and some of them are you know humongous they're, they're like they're earthquakes they're major storms you know tornadoes so so life is full of that a business is full of that career is full of that your profession is full of that your journey in your profession your relationships are full of that so you have to be ready to fail because it's part of the survival game. In Africa, as you watch uh, you know, documentaries, you will see that almost maybe 60 or 70% of the attempts by lions or by wild beasts to capture prey animals fail. Only 30 or 40% succeed. So failure is part of the reality of survival and the reality of success because you can't think of success without failure. You can't think, think of growth without failure. You can't think of survival without, you know, the element of failure. You can't think of good decision making without failing, uh, thinking of bad decision making. So it's the whole part of the whole scenario. So how do you handle that? your thinking part, your cognitive abilities cannot be in a functional way, at least, in a, you know, if not even optimal way, in a functional way, if you are not, if not taking care of yourself, of your body, if you're not sleeping well, if you're not, you know, eating well, if you're not exercising well, if you're not doing whatever it takes so that this machine can take care of itself, uh, even at the intellectual level and at the emotional level. Socially also you have to be ready because you have to have require a support structure people around you friends family you know people who care about you so that they can give you all the emotional support that you need to navigate through this journey or you know pain that you call failure at the same time maybe you need a, so a structure of um, advisor or people trusted people who can give you through a, a sense of wisdom some solid advice could you wake you up to the, your blind spots so that you 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 look at what you have been ignoring and you observe um, all the data or as much data as possible from all angles bottom line is you can't succeed if you don't learn how to fail 
and one of the most important lessons survival and growth lessons that you need to teach yourself and teach people around you if you're in a leadership uh, situation or at least teach your family and your loved ones because it's a main survival tool is to learn how to fail on all aspects of life relational social professional you name it business financial you name it without this you're doomed to 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 perish and you can forget about you know picking up yourself for success anymore so my friend if there's any advice i need to tell you before you start anything or when you're in the middle of anything is learn the important and absolutely essential art of failing intelligently and gracefully so that you can you know how to pick yourself up again